Dr. Tawun Kumar Khan and our principal Dr. Gautam Ghi to the last. and 
discovery of diagnostics and therapeutics of neurodegenerative diseases. He is recognized as a translational scientist and international expert in health research and development. Health research and development. A startup company, Nipro Diagnostic LLC, Rock Village, MD, has been formed based on his research. Now I request Dr. Tapan Kumar Khan to deliver the report. Kevin Carter, 
এক্সেলেন্স কাজ করে যাবে কিন্তু উনি উনি হিউম্যান রিসোর্সটা দিয়ে যাবে তো তার আমার অনুরোধ যারা আমাদের জুনিয়র এই ধরনের ধরনের এক্সেলেন্সে আসবে জীবনে কিন্তু তার উপরে হিউম্যান রিসোর্স ঠিক আছে এরপরে আমি সায়েন্সের দিকে যাচ্ছি এটাও কিন্তু আপনি যারা পরে ভবিষ্যতে রিসার্চ করবে তাদের মনে রাখতে পারেন উনি আবার পড়াশোনা শুরু করেন তারপর দেখলেন যে ইনস্টলাম রাখে পড়াশোনা করে পোস্ট করে ইনস্টলাম করলেন
how is that fully if you look at uh, the statistics in 2017, 47 million people had Alzheimer's disease and it's growing now. We to stop the disease. There are, they are, those are not uh, uh, disease modifying. Uh, but the diagnostic, there are a couple of diagnostics now in the market, starting to come in the market, one of ours, and I will tell you a little bit of that.
even say a neuron die. But you have to detect the disease before neuron die with one preclinical dimension, preclinical detection of the disease. And here in this picture, you see uh, condition stability that is dementia with age. The normal person will have dementia very long and very old age. That is the normal trajectory. Then another trajectory is called clinical eating. And another trajectory is pathological eating. Pathology, brain is the, the uh, signature poison. So we have to go there. That's why and now uh, Alzheimer's Association and uh, uh, NIH, this Institute of Health, they categorize Alzheimer's disease over 14 of us, three different sections. First one is the preclinical dementia, preclinical uh, diagnosis. Second one is MCR, or mild clinical trial or any other drug intervention should be at the preclinical stage or MCR stage, where not all the neuron or not all the synapse collapse. So this is the preclinical studies or ongoing things, you know, some of the clinical trials we are working with a uh, place in Florida and that place is called Florida Village. You know, in United States, uh, in old age, in not like India or other Asian countries, people will go to a certain place, uh, we call the old, old, old age group, what that is called the village. And that village we are now making one uh, contract that next our clinical trial will be done and that specific uh, old age people who are at the beginning of your dementia or pre-dementia stage. That's, that's why it's next we work on that to see how our biomarkers for the new uh, present now can help detect the disease where even though you cannot see the clinical medicine. In Now, one question generally comes to the people like not as a own brain disease, it's a systemic disease. And we have tons of evidence, tons of publications uh, of that. And for skin, skin cells have intact signaling mechanisms who are similar to the brain cells. We cannot get the brain cells, they are both in the brain, not kill the person. We cannot do that. So we studied the disease in skin and we um, find out uh, several uh, signaling molecules and pathways that is a defective in Alzheimer's disease and we explore that to find uh, the uh, diagnostic technology. That's the, the company and the working. We they funded this and now we are marketing. So this is the things we did in the lab uh, from Rockford Institute was the West Virginia University in Vincent. Actually, Dr. Prince was part of the West Virginia University. I worked in Dr. Prince. And this at that time we had collaboration with the West Virginia University. Later, when we formed the company in 2018, I started moving from West Virginia and Dr. Prince to this company. Now, the technology we developed is called DISAR, and then that is their trademark, what you see. And, and we have clear certification. That means we can go on to the product uh, for testing. Present where 29 states out of 50 states in the United States. And recently, um, a conference with doctor, neurologists, uh, they think that 90% uh, of these doctors in the our test, but how many test are who you put? The test will be able to We used to take this in 3 mm punch. We don't, don't need to stitch anything, just keep it bleeding to take the one kind of tape and that's all. Then from 3 mm in, we isolate fibroblasts and then we culture the fibroblasts and then we need the whole test. Here we, I will present 3 different tests. First one is the skin cell morphology imaging. Second one, protein type is three SRRs. And third one is Alzheimer's disease index. So one by one, let's see, this is the discovery. First, we discovered this and published for the team. Here, uh, what I present first, that we have the isolated cells and then we 
people are studying on that. There's one study in which person does not addicted a set of people. Tadeki put a green saxophone man, so sorry, unacceptable. Aluminium drinking water is animal. The body demands better 
So, whatever you are asking, we have some effect, but uh, we cannot say quantity that For example, Alzheimer's disease, we can we have the proof that the effect of it is excellent. We can say that. Or mitochondria, even the mitochondria, yes, that's it. But what you are feeling, mitochondria, yeah, it might be, but it's a guess. No. Only one. That's why what is the patient in advanced stage. Now second stage we are moving to the first thing you are asking. How much you can get it? So one we are doing the clinical trial. Another one we are doing like artificial intelligence and machine learning. With genetic test, we will do that. But here I do not have data, I didn't present, I have some data. Because common audience, and this is not a research institute, it's a very common audience, let's say what is already convinced, very simple. I choose that. But I told you I have three different projects, second and third one. Third one is a therapeutics project, it has some data, but it's not convincing yet. And second one, yeah, we are trying to do that. Let's start go to that good question. They did very bad. So, the disease just started. 
they cannot do this. They cannot, they are confused with other people. That's why they need our test. With the doctors, clinical diagnosis, this person has dementia, they don't know what kind of dementia, but if it's a severe of the disease, then they can have like particularly recent uh, memory loss. The person who has severe dementia and the uh, person can remember his past life, like past means the, and the childhood or when he was young, but the same, let's say, he took lunch, for lunch days, you know, uh, I took a guest to he, he had a guest, you know, he saw that the person, who can tell the person, the whole world, the 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 world, the
might not have the dementia, they are totally different. But on an average, you can say this uh, two diseases are different because of their pathology. One is alpha stimulant deposition, another is amyloid Yeah, I think we request our respected principal sir to present the esteemed speaker with a memory. Thank you all. Have a good day.